In this video, we introduce our work on scalable learning of safety guarantees for autonomous systems using Hamilton Jacobi reachability. First, we introduce the notion of safe learning and learning for safety. When a system is learning a performance controller online, it may not be guaranteed safe. A pre-computed safe set and controller can be used to keep the system within the safe region. To ensure this works in real environments, we must also execute learning for safety. When there are changes in the environment, the system should be able to efficiently update its safety analysis. One method for producing these safe sets is called Hamilton Jacobi reachability. This method grids up the state space and initializes the safe set at the constraint set. It then applies dynamic programming to produce the safe set. There are many advantages to this method, but the major disadvantage lies in its computational complexity. This restricts HJ reachability to be used only offline or with very simple system models. We propose introducing three methods to make this analysis more scalable. The first method is decomposition, wherein we split a high-dimensional system into smaller subsystems that can be computed separately. Under certain conditions of the system's formulation, this can be done while maintaining exact safety guarantees. If the system does not meet the requirements for decomposition, the other two methods can be applied. The second method is warm starting. Here we update the safe set directly instead of restarting the computation. The result is guaranteed to be either exact or conservative. Finally, we employ the notion of adaptive grids. An initial fast update can be done over a coarse grid. This grid and set can then be refined. This also produces exact or conservative results. A computational comparison shows that using all three methods produces a speedup that allows us to finally apply reachability-based safety updates online for more realistic models of systems. Our method is applied to a near hover tandy quadcopter tracking a figure eight reference trajectory. Initially, the drone uses a default value function for its safety verification. Once the disturbance data is collected, the Gaussian process-based disturbance models are updated. The safe set is then also updated based on the obtained disturbance models by using our scalable method, which combines decomposition, warm start, and adaptive gridding. This takes about three and a half minutes. Note that it is impossible to apply the original hamilton jacobi method to compute the safe set online within reasonable time. After the safe set is updated, now a strong wind is introduced near the left wing of the figure 8. The measured disturbance is more extreme than the current disturbance model, causing the safe set to contract to a level that is still guaranteed to be safe. Meanwhile, the disturbance data is collected to construct new disturbance models. The models created from the new data are now able to capture the effect of the strong wind. The safe set is then updated based on these new disturbance models while the drone is staying in the conservative safe region. Again, our method is applied for this update, which takes about two and a half minutes. Once the safe set is updated, the drone continues to track the figure eight as well as possible while maintaining safety. Note that since the safety information is updated, the safe set is reset to default safety level close to zero, providing maximal safe manual region. 